everyone! Welcome! Today we're going to be reading another Eric Carle book. But this book is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is a classic, wonderful book that's great for teaching about the life cycle of caterpillars and what they turn into. And that we will learn in the book today. So let's get reading. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you see the egg? Where is it? Over here. Awesome. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Wow! Look at that tiny caterpillar. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa. Look at this. He started to look for some food. Do you see all this food here? Hmm, and what's in the food? Let's see. On Monday, he ate through one apple, <gasps> but he was still hungry. Hmm. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Do you see the two pears? Let's count them. One, two. Hmm. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. What's he going to eat next? Hmm. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five, Oranges, but you guessed it, he was still hungry. <gasps> Look at all this food, oh my goodness. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. Do you see the chocolate cake? Wow. And one ice cream cone, hmm, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Which one is your favorite? Hmm? What would you choose to eat? Would it be everything or just one thing? Hmm. But that night, he had a stomach ache, of course. Next day was Sunday again. Hmm. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that he felt much better. Do you see the nice green leaf? <gasps> oh my goodness! Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He's huge. Wow! He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... <gasps> Whoa! He was a beautiful butterfly! That's what happens. The cocoon brought forth a butterfly. And that's the end of our story. So the very hungry caterpillar ate and ate and ate until he built himself a cocoon. And after he stayed inside for how long? Do you remember? Two weeks. He nibbled through and burst out as a beautiful butterfly. Thanks so much for joining me today in reading this awesome book by Eric Carle. If you like, you can check out the craft video I have made that teaches you how to make a little caterpillar and butterfly craft, which is an awesome add-on to this book. You can play with them later and talk about the life cycle of butterfly. Thanks again. See you next time. Bye!